Greetings, everyone. I'll notify you the translators that I'm live. Whenever you join this class, do the usual focus inside. Be conscious that you're conscious. So you're preparing yourself mentally, emotionally to follow the class. The simple word in your mind, swastia. Swastia. If you are new to these classes, I recommend you go in the video tab of this Facebook group, go to the lowest video at the bottom and start watching them um, in your preferred language. My videos are in English, there's a French and a Spanish. Watch the videos in your language, watch them in a series, they, they are meant to be a series of classes. Swastia is one of those videos about finding yourself in sign, focusing. When we do a small practice like this, when we start class, giving time for everyone to connect, take care of technical details. All right, let's start this. Many teachers of the Mahajriya give online meditation. For this region, I do not give online meditation. I give classes of philosophy, and initiation in a few mantras maybe. So if this class today seems like some kind of guided meditation, um, maybe it is. But the purpose is the initiation that happens. I'm going to guide mechanics inside you that is depending on all the other videos you've seen. Um, if you have not seen them, it's okay. Do your best and it will somewhat work. Okay. And I will retype the mantras as we learn them. Okay. First, we're going to use is swastya. Conscious that you're conscious. Also, think about responsibility. Conscious that you are conscious. Think about being emotionally responsible. And Swastia. No, I don't mean someone named that. I just want to type the word. Okay. <laughs> just focus on your sense of responsibility. The next concept we contemplate is Visantara. Visantara 
is not a city to use in meditation. You can do this, but it will have a consequence of training your mind to transcend when what you actually want to do is feel and be incarnate. Okay? So don't meditate on Visantara. Consider the attitude. Contemplate the possibilities. Okay? Visantara. I'm feeling humbly inside. I'm humbly feeling inside. I'm honestly going to do my best to embrace what I feel. Okay. Usually the Visantara practice is a long practice um, where you go do a deep emotional integration. But in this case, we use it to get ready to feel and be honest with ourselves. Visantara. Good. I should type this. So with Swastya and Visantara, we prepared ourselves in a proper attitude to feel concepts. The following is not a guided meditation, it's a guided contemplation. And again, if you have not uh, learned these Sanskrit words, follow the contemplation as best you can. Pretty V boom. Pretty V boom. So contemplate the idea I exist. I'm grateful that I exist. There might be potentials inside you that disagree with existing. But there are potentials inside you that do agree with existing. Think about the food you prefer eating. For example, for me, second sip of coffee in the morning. The first is cool. The second one is like, ah, that's a thing for me. If you have a feeling of enjoyment with your preferred food, something inside you is very happy to exist so that you can enjoy that. That's an example. There are places inside you that are happy to exist, even if the negative voices sometimes are more insistent. So you make peace with that. And you contemplate the TV boom. I exist. Very happy to exist. There's so much aspects of existing that I enjoy. So I'll focus on that. Pretty TV boom. Good. We will move on to Teja Sadni. Teja Sadni. I'm very glad 
the world exists. I'm very happy the others exist. I'm grateful for it. So whatever the negative thoughts you have that would rather not have others exist, that would be vengeful, we'll work on that another time. If there's any people that you smile when you see, don't think about those who hate you. Think about the simple fun, mundane conversation, um, the people you give money at the store to purchase your, your stuff. Focus on whatever positive you have. If you are happy to have children, you focus on that. I'm happy that others exist. I'm grateful for the world to exist. And you capitalize for on, on any potentials of gratitude you have for anything that brings you something positive. And you think there's a sign. I'm grateful for anyone that exists. Eventually, you'll be grateful for anything and anyone that exists, like everyone. You, you'll be grateful for the entire existential contemplation of every sentient being, even those who are part of the Dharma and the Karma of this world that teach you lessons. For now, you capitalize on those you feel grateful for. This will help you be grateful for even more. There's a sign. Good. Next concept, Vishwagasha. Vishwagasha. Focus on how useful you are. Regardless of all the negative thoughts that shout inside that you are useless, don't pay attention to those. Focus on when you are at work, someone is paying you for the work. That means that you are productive for them, or else they wouldn't pay you. Okay. So it's useful. And then you think about what you do for others. When you lend a hand to someone, when you chat and you, you feel that it made them feel good. Pishwakasha, I have a place in this world. Think it, feel it. And there are places I am useful. So focus on that. For a short moment, do not allow yourself to sink in negativity for the other potentials that say that you are useless. That's okay. You'll work on that at another time. But for now, Ishwakasha, and you feel yourself part of the whole, useful for the purpose. And if you want to incarnate that feeling, simply be creative and find a way to be useful. Help around. Vishwakasa. We will move on to Jalapsa. The element of water and the concept of everything makes sense. There's part of you that wants to be right, that disagree with the world and stuff. That is 
not the negative thinking we want to work with. Right now, just pay attention on the world working a certain way. And I'm curious about it. And I enjoy discovering how the world mechanics work. Jalapsa, the cohesion in everything. When you pay attention and you start to feel the dynamics of the universe, your actions, how the world responds, people or things. When you take charge of yourself, of your responsibilities, and it seems to rectify the karma or make it flow in a more harmonious way. Jalapsa. The mechanics of the universe, how they work together. The mechanics of nature. So enjoy the discovery. A good motivation for that feeling is every time you've done personal growth and ended up with the realization, ah, oh, yeah, that's good. This is a kind of enjoyment to feel towards the entire mechanics of nature, the universe, and all the mystical planes. This wonderful curiosity, this environment, and to discover the mechanics of cohesion. It's a lab sign. Collapse. Next, Pranavayu. Pranavayu. Movements, convection. What follows mechanics is dynamics, thermodynamics, for example, and movements, systems. So if it's the only positive thing you can find, use your greed. When you get money, when you obtain something, when you receive a hug, think about when you obtain that's a movement and you enjoy it. Now, if you can go further and less egocentric, <laughs> more compassionate, when other people receive, when other people experience joy and you're a witness. Now, even better, when you are the charitable person that provided to another, and that's a movement and it makes me it made you feel good so the exchange we have between humans and just make an effort to be on the positive exchanges and on what feels good if you have a car and you can drive it and you feel good having that freedom. If you can travel by other means, you're grateful that you can travel by other means. If you enjoy taking walks outside, you are grateful for being able to walk and observe everything that is happening. Pranavayu. Just grateful for that. For every movement I had. Good. We're going to review the five last concepts very quick. Pretty boom. 
I'm grateful for existing. Tejas Agni, we're grateful for everyone else to exist. Vishwakasha, we're grateful for the immensity of space where everything happens. Jalapsa, we are grateful for the mechanics, for understanding, for living them, for being alive, and for understanding how it works. Pranavayu, we're happy to live in this universe, to move, to operate. And we're grateful that others operate too. Feel all of this at once, grateful for everything. Kanakayota. Kanakayota. Gold light everywhere. A feeling of absolute embracement of all things. So grateful. So satisfied. Present here existing, the others existing. The mechanics, our exchanges, the movements, the, the entire creation as a single phenomena, unifying. We can imagine gold light everywhere. And we are grateful for everything. And we are also enjoying everything. Kanakayota. Because sometimes we need a positive practice to use the little positive we have and focus on that. Maybe, maybe use the lot of positive you have and focus on that. Until everything is forgiven and it's a great, powerful experience that we have here. Karakayota. All manifested composition in the universe stream and flow together with the metaphor of a universal golden light, Kanakayota. And it feels good. Just focus on that. This is a contemplation that slowly becomes a meditation now. With a strong, emancipated feeling, gratitude, of rejoicing, form of bliss. Kanakayota. We we'll just let ourselves bathe in the universal constructs in all the elements and all the resources streaming as one with no distinction. Kanakayota. Usually I do practice of incarnation, but this time we're learning a practice of elevation. From Kanakayota, we will go into Om Yota, universal life. And we focus on the third eye and on the heavens, whatever that means for you, with no complication, simple, Om Yota. Universal light and everything is white. Everything is white. Not intensely through a power trip, but intensely by certitude. Everything is just white 
universal light. Om Yuta. Focus on the third eye and on the heavens. Om Yuta. Om Yuta. Om Yuta. Everything is white, light, universal. It is beyond white, but white is what we imagine. Om Yuta. A deep breath. And now, now the concept avatar sink into the body, incarnate, and feel this desire to accomplish yourself in every aspect. Physicalize whatever you've gotten so far. And the city is avatar. The mantra is avatar. And you are in the body, incarnate, avatar. But we allow ourselves to transcend or to go high. Now in the body, we are that height or that depth. That width, if you want to play with words for fun. Incarnate. Avatar. Avatar Siddhi Meditation will not make you as an avatar just by wishful thinking. <laughs> you have all the work to do and all the discovery. The city avatar awakens in you the passion of this personal growth, of this discovery. It attracts revelation, wisdom, it nourishes your feeling of gratitude for everything. It will encourage you to seek and act with compassion. It will give you a sense of justice and equity amongst all beings. It can help alleviate power trips, personal discovery I've done lately. It makes you strong morally. It, it desires to know. Avatar will wish for the wisdom the proper understanding. It will make you creative and charitable. It will focus on intelligence, prudence, calculation. Not by being rigid, but by being patient and observant and careful will give you hope that everything is possible and it will make all of this accessible to your physical body so that you can discover all the wisdom on any plane 
in your animal and your actual physical mass. Avatar brings God in the densest aspect of you with compassion, kindness, certainty. And it will show you what your ego desires to do with it. The power trips, the superiority, the greatness. Look at how awesome I am as an avatar. All of this arrogance will be thrown in your face. So you'll have to resolve it. Avatar. We should not arrogantly practice that contemplation, thinking, I am becoming an avatar. We should instead be available. What does it mean, avatar? I'm vulnerable to it. I am allowing it to manifest. Show me. I'm listening, I am open to understand. Avatar. The concept of the avatar is so rich, so wide. It holds all the possibilities of self-realization. But to practice it properly, first, we focus on tons of different concepts. To awaken and stir inside so many positive aspects of ourselves. Then we go high, we come back here, and we're ready to accomplish. We're available to progress in that goal, at least. Avatar. That was the meditation. Take a deep breath. Relax. For making this um, easier to manage, I will not. I will now stop and restart the live streaming so I can give a name to that contemplation and then move on to a more philosophical class immediately. See you in a second.